first I want to say hello to everyone. Um, right now you should see in my PitScon. Is this right? We do. We see it. Okay. Well, um, on the one hand we got our analyzers, uh, and on the other hand we uh, have a lot of analyzers uh, within PitScon, and. Um, since it's not so interesting to look at a Word document, I would prefer to show you the, the numbers uh, within uh, Pitscon. So uh, let's start. We will start uh, with a little bit more with the overview. I often call it the management management view because all numbers are summarized to the level. For example, this orange level are all. DB objects that are part of uh, of the application. The light blue uh, um, uh, colored uh, parts are uh, modules um, like FMB files, MMB files, and many times the developers can tell you how many FMB files do they have, how many functions in the database, maybe also how many lines of code in the database they have. But uh, when we take a look at the FMBs, it's getting hard to know how many lines of code are in one FMB. So just uh, uh, take a look at the percentage uh, of lines of code. We see we have nearly 50% of lines of code within our modules. Uh, we will come to this later. Um, we want to see more numbers than just lines of code, of course. We can also extract how many empty lines do we have uh, in, our, in our program units, how many commented lines uh, do we have in our pro program units. The empty lines uh, have, uh, are necessary for readability, readability of the source code. The commented lines um, are necessary to understand what program units are doing. So you could take a look at the comment ratio uh, within your pro uh, program units um, and uh, how much this is at all. Um, and I guess there are totally unknown numbers for you right now. You can take a look at the number of program units. There we have two numbers here. Um, they differ in the uh, way how packages are co uh, counted. In the, on the one hand, in this case, they are counted as one program unit, each package body, and on the other hand, each procedure or function of a package is counted as one. So, um, I prefer the, n the number where each procedure is counted, and of course, you can also take a look how many lines of code does one program unit have. Uh, in average, and uh, you always see that there are uh, normally it's the database procedures that are very large per program unit. So, large. Uh, if you see real large numbers in, in this case, you have two big uh, program units. We will see them. Uh, we will find them later also. So, um, if we take a. a this is a very deep look into your application right now, but we can also take a look where's your business logic, where are select, insert, update, and delete statements. Uh, this, these are statements that are changing your data, so it, this is your business logic. And if we take a look at uh, this application, we see that there are just a few menu, uh, manipulating uh, statements within the modules. Although there are 50% uh, of lines of code in the uh, module section, so right now, right there, we can uh, identify that there's a lot of logic within the uh, graphical user interface that's not depending on the, uh, that's not depending on manipulating data. So. Um, here we can see that there's something about navigation or um, data access or something like this within the FMBs. So uh, if we ta uh, take a look further, we can take a look at how objects are called and what they are calling. And um, if we 
take a look at the build and, and PLO, of course, they can't, can't be called by uh, database objects, but we see a lot of uh, build-in calls in the FMBs. That's also um, um, intense, uh, a lot of uh, lo logic with accesses to fields or with navigation. And we can further take a look at the variables and arguments within the application because where I have a lot of variables, I have a lot of uh, intelligence in my application. And we see that the FMBs, although there's a l really a lot of code, they don't have, a, they don't use very much uh, variables and the, um, instead uh, in comparison to packages or procedures. So we can clearly say over this, um, um, just from this overview, we can clearly say that the logic, the business logic really lays already in the database, but the forms also have a lot of code, but that's really code for the user interface about navigation and about uh, accessing fields. So this is a quite uh, detailed overview. Uh, 